Hi everyone. Welcome to Shimin's business. Now in most interviews a fairly common question is asked. What are your hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? It's a simple question and not many of us put a lot of thought into the answer. So, I like reading, I like watching television, I like cooking, I like gardening, I like running, I like swimming. Simple question, simple answers. But is there a way in which you can answer this question that can help you stand out? That is what I'm going to talk about in this video today. This is Deepika Singh. Welcome to She Means Business. Before we go forward, please don't forget to follow me on my social media channels. You will find me as She Means Business Deepika Singh pretty much everywhere. Also, I will be launching my online life skills courses in December and interview skills is going to be one of those. In case you'd like to be notified when I launch them, please subscribe to my newsletter on my website shemeansbusiness.co. Moving forward, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? I'm going to try and divide this answer into three. One, we'll first talk about why a question like this is fairly popular or why it turns up during interviews. Two, we'll try and define hobbies. And three, we'll try and figure out an answer that will help you stand out. But first, why does a question like this turn up during interviews? You must have heard a lot of interviewers say that they look for attitude more than they look for functional skills because functional skills can be taught they can be learned on the job but attitude is who you are but what is attitude how do you define this attitude it's your spark it's your ability and desire to learn new things it's your ability to collaborate with other people it's your ability and desire to work in a team these are behavioral traits that any organization looks for but how would they know whether you have such behavioral traits or not by asking you questions like this which is why you should not take a question like this lightly and think ye to aise time pass question hai it's actually a question that matters and how you reply to it will showcase your attitude and your behavioral traits don't take it lightly two What really is a hobby? Most of us think of hobby as something that we mindlessly do as time pass. It's not. A hobby is something that you actively engage in. It is something that genuinely interests you. It's something that helps you grow as a person. It calms you down. It also helps you to learn new skills. Those are the hobbies that you should mention. Sleeping because I like to sleep is not a hobby. gardening cooking running swimming reading these are good hobbies to have hence mention something that you like to actively engage in and that's something that utilizes your time and also is not mindless but requires you to spend some amount of active energy mind space on it three how can your answer make you stand out well first mention your hobby and then tie up your hobby with a professional skill let me explain i like running good answer but not great running is a great hobby but does it showcase anything about you no i like running because i like to push my boundaries because i like to always stay out of my comfort zone because it helps me to stay healthy that's a great answer that showcases your attitude that showcases your behavioral traits that tells an organization what kind of a person you are the fact that you like to get out of your comfort zone the fact that you like to push your boundaries and the fact that you believe in health example number 2 i like gardening okay i like gardening because i like to nurture things i like to see things grow ooh great manager material because he likes to nurture people as well possibly likes to see people grow as well possibly now this is a good answer the minute you are able to mention a great hobby and then tie it up with a great professional skill that's when you stand out and that's when your spark and your behavioral traits shine out that's what you're supposed to do so mention a great hobby and then tie it up with a professional skill this is the pika singh till next time stay tuned bye bye